the number one mistake people make with virtual summits. And I, I mean, there's probably a lot and you could like break it down, but like, I did want to mention this real briefly and then it ties into where I think the great value is with what Liam's doing here and with Virtual Summit Academy and, and what you guys can be a part of. The number one mistake when, when virtual summits flop, it usually has to do with the partnership piece. Um, like typically speaking, it's like, are they, are people sending traffic or not? It's not often that it's like, it's usually not a structural thing. It's usually not a ticket price thing. Um, it's usually just, are you getting the traffic from the right sources? And so the best source is like the, the, the speaker or the partner or the affiliate who's sending email traffic. It's the best kind of traffic there is. And so that's the, when I see things flop, it's usually because they didn't get partners to promote via email. And so it's like, what's the best way to do that? Well, when you follow a program like Liam's, you know, with Virtual Summit Academy, it's going to walk you step by step to the process of what you need to do. And it'll give you that kind of critical path is what I like to call it, like the critical things you need to do now so you, th- that they get done later, right? The things that have to be done now so that this other thing can get started. So the right critical path items, getting them done on time and allowing you to be able to recruit the best partners and get them to promote. And then where I would say that, that maybe you level it up is with coaching. If you guys need that kind of help and you wanted to join that, I can, you know, that would be where me or Liam or somebody on the team kind of coming in and showing you how to craft the emails that you're sending out, how to communicate with your partners, how to extract that extra email or two. I had one client tell me that they'd gotten a guy from The Secret, the book, The Secret, if you guys have ever heard of that, it was a pretty big deal like a decade ago or something like that. But one of the big names from The Secret um, ended up emailing multiple more times for them because of just that approach. And so there's, there's certain things like that that are like kind of technique driven that it helps really also to have a coach in that back end. But at a minimum, follow the proven process, follow what came before you and make sure you invest in the partnership piece. And I guess that's what I would say about that. 